You know, the question today is, should you play Godfall? I was very interested in this game when it first came out. And unfortunately, due to the lackluster launch, I would say, because of the PS5 unavailability and, you know, in general, it wasn't getting the greatest reviews. I didn't want to commit to it as I was playing other things at the time. If you have that personality where you like to really hone your skills and become better and better at the game, this, this game does deliver that, okay? Yeah, it's not button mashing. If you button mash in this game, you will get killed. Uh, it will punish you for, you know, not thinking about what you're doing. There is a plethora of mechanisms in this game, guys, from the valor plates to your augments to your weapons. Me personally, up until what I played right now, I mean, I'm a little bit addicted. I don't know why this game received such bad reviews because the state of the game at the moment. OK, I understand this. At the beginning, there was an issue where you couldn't cancel what your inputs were. And I feel like that was a major contributing factor to people disliking the game well they've since updated that and also it's now two patches in and i feel like the game runs a very fluid look the story isn't great okay the story is something akin to diablo 3 guys you know you sort of just go through it i would say diablo 3 it's a little bit better at telling a story this is very simple and to the point is it as if the story was made for uh, a younger audience i don't want to say children but there isn't anything really in depth here. Um, you don't really get to learn anything about each individual valor plate other than reading through codexes. The central bit here that's keeping me in is the combat. Every time I get into a fight, I want to uh, improve. Um, there is so many things to do and sometimes I even forget what moveset I have available to me. I will say one thing though, I was thoroughly disappointed with was the fact that I bought the Ascended Edition now with the ascended edition guys you get legendary items from the beginning okay i've had no use for any of the other weapons at all whatsoever maybe that's my fault i shouldn't have bought the ascended edition but i feel they could have done something a little bit better where the loot was a little bit interesting but there's no way that i would equip anything over you know like these rare items for example just because of the uh, sheer stats advantage you get on the legendaries and the fact that you can upgrade them you can see on the top left corner here these dual blades i've actually upgraded them twice which is doing 108 damage and i've upgraded this twice which is doing 66. so why would i use this great sword um other than the small increase to uh dps because you can go ahead and upgrade this and get this up so maybe that's just something that I'm struggling with um, at the moment. It, it, the loot has become boring for me. Okay, other than that, one system I really like in this game, guys, is the fact that you can respec your skills whenever you want. This tree here, you don't need to be um, timid about spending your points because I can go ahead and literally wipe this entire thing and try a different playstyle. In terms of the story, okay, and what they actually have you do, you have different realms. You can see right now I've unlocked the Earth realm. And I've unlocked the water realm, okay? I'm assuming there's more to come. I don't know um, the full story, guys. Like I said, I'm at level 20. Um, I'm about... I would say I've been playing between 4 and 5 hours. Okay, I'm a brand new player to Golf War, which I feel like gives me a little bit of edge in terms of my... Um, my opinion on things because I can take a fresh look at it, especially because I'm not hindered by playing in the past and having a bad taste in my mouth. I will say... Um, some of it is a grind i had to go back to the previous missions in the in the water realm and the earth realm and unlock sigils so you can see here for example on this um on this level you're rewarded with three water sigils three coins of valor 30 sun steel etc it's the sigils that you need to unlock further levels so i've gone ahead and actually unlock this and what we're going to do is we're going to actually start off by playing this if you guys have any questions, I'm going to try my best to answer them for you as much as we can. Our goal here is to reach level 50. So it's true. The Ethereum is making you sick. Never mind that. Oren, we have a problem. I'm listening. As you know, Macros has the rights of ascension, just as we do. Correct. But if he wants to ascend, he needs Ethereum. And we've been taking it away. Exactly. And that's the problem. How is that a problem? It's working. We are winning. And Macros knows it. So now he's desperate. 
he knows that if all the Ethereum disappears, he'll never be able to ascend. And thanks to us, he's running out. Fast. Exactly. So now he's willing to risk everything and start the rites with what he has left. That means we're running out of time. We are done with the Water Realm. It's time to move on our remaining targets. Greed's Sunsteel is next, followed by the Gildan Commander. Head to the Central Tower and rise to the Air Realm. Alright guys, so just there you saw a snippet of the story, right? And this is what I meant by... It's either a very simplistic way of storytelling or it's aimed at a younger audience because every dialogue seems to repeat what the last person said and in a, in a way where they they really try and hammer home a basic point of what you need to do i mean this is probably the fourth or fifth time i've heard the the sanctum tell me that you know i need to go through every single commander one by one and you know at a point you start thinking okay i get it and this is where you like and lose interest in the story altogether because you know what the end goal is uh during the premise it's already given to you you're supposed to fight to uh to get to um macros right yeah, um the story could be so much better but i mean guys which game has a story destiny even suffered from the same thing where the story was just it seemed like it was aimed at children now i will say this that this being a very melee focused um game right doesn't have many options you can throw your shield at the opponent which is one ranged attack okay the second i find with the dual blades you can actually use your second move um that's like a it's like a grab you either with the lower enemies you'll pull them towards you with the higher ranked enemies you will actually be pulled towards them which is a fantastic way of traversing and the other thing is the reason i use the pole arm is because you can actually throw it okay and um i this is the kind of playstyle that I've found most effective for myself. Because I do love... I normally play archers, guys, or mages in, in different games. And I don't like personally being up front all the time. And it, it allows me that sort of balance in between. But, you know, to, each person has a different style of playing. And I really do appreciate how the developers try to compensate um, for all those different types. Now, um, what we're going to do, let's have a quick look at our items, guys, and um, I can go through this. Okay, so you have your Valor Plate. Your Valor Plate has... To be honest, I was disappointed, okay? They could have done a lot more with the Valor Plates. The Valor Plates don't really feel any different other than aesthetically, they are different. You can see here on the top right hand corner, Phoenix has a 10% chance to inflict Ignite. When you activate the... Archon Fury unleashes a shockwave that deals fire damage. You have a 90% chance to inflict ignite and 100% damage to ignite enemies, okay? And all your attacks deal fire damage. Now, if we were to compare this to another Valor Plate, okay, let's say this one. There's nothing different. It looks different and then it has a different status effect. But you can see here it does exactly the same thing apart from summoning three physical sentinels. Okay. Um, so I was massively disappointed. I thought that the armors could have been much improved on and that they could have done a little bit more with it. So really, unless you're an end game and you're specking into something specific like bleed, fire, chill or any of the other status effects. Okay. I would say just pick the one that looks that the looks the most appealing to you i mean most of the time um i would say the one that you start with is this one silver mane and uh his one is quite uh, i would say a little bit different because you get 10 percent weapon technique charge speed okay that's your um every weapon has two different um attacks and uh it just charges faster okay your shield will charge faster and the polarity attack right is when you, uh, you've got two weapons, let's say you're using the dual blades, while your pole arm is not um, out, you know, you're not, you're not equipped, okay, it's charging. And once it fully charges, uh, you can change to um, that, that weapon and it will do um, much more damage. Uh, another annoying tidbit, okay, I just, if you've um, been playing with a Valor Plate and you've got stuff equipped, for example, I'm gonna show you a perfect example here. 
one of my valor plates has um where is it has this sword still equipped now i have to go to that valor plate unequip this sword for me to be able to delete it and it just becomes annoying because once you start moving over on different things i believe some of my rings like all of these these are being worn by different valor plates okay so i can't do it i have to, have to physically go to the valor plate and then change uh you know take them off and then delete these i think at this stage of the game it is pretty much uh, a chore to be able to do this I, look saying that guys i don't want it to be a neg uh, too much of a negative point because i do see at the end of the game this being a very uh like interesting part where each piece of gear will significantly change your builds so i i would like to think that it's just temporary we'll have to see and obviously with the expansion coming out there's new enemies new weapons and uh that will be really exciting i will say i am going to play this game to the end i'll probably grind this game um it's actually hooked me into it where every chance i get i'm turning the game on so you know the overall question should you play it i wouldn't commit the money to it at the moment unless you're somebody who likes to perfect your combat skills okay or are used to this sort of genre of of gaming it is very repetitive you are going to have to grind and obviously the uh the goal is to have an ultimate build where you're just uh, running through very high level enemies so this is gain the blessing of power whenever you inflict ignite so this charm here guys the phoenix i was using before we saw that her innate ability was a 10 percent chance to inflict ignite so this is something that would really work with uh her build you know her, her using this would be an advantage of using that specific valor plate i would just like it if they gave um abilities to different uh, the different valor plates because in traditional in traditional rpgs guys you've got your classes and then you've got your weapons okay and each class has different um attacks for example a mage has got a fireball or an ice shard or something um, along those lines in this you're really relying on just your weapons and the weapons as far as i've seen up until this point only have two attacks and they're the same attacks one other thing that's annoyed me about the story guys is you have to walk over there and speak to her and then you'll have to come and speak to him and then you'll have to run back over there and speak to her you know i think they could have just done it in a better way it's a, it's a bit tedious Your sometimes brother is even more of a menace than i thought he's his own worst enemy how so he's wrong about the rights of ascension they won't turn him into a god after all why not it's a sacrifice ritual he's a dead man he's playing with fire we have to stop him before he wreaks more havoc on this world there we go guys we just had a whole conversation with the sanctum where we went through this now we've gone over here and spoken to him and we've literally gone over the same thing twice okay it's uh if you're here for the story in this game there's no point and look this is exactly it look i've just spoken to him now i have to run over here and speak to her this game is not designed to uh you know you play the storyline and then you're done with it otherwise i would say i would argue that there is no point in playing this game like that uh, it would be a waste of your money all right guys it seems like the grind is on what we're going to do is we're going to leave it there we are going to continue this discussion um as i'm going to be playing this game all the way till the end and indeed past it um i hope you guys have enjoyed today's content um i will catch you in the next one